I've received a couple of questions on my drop cloth tarp and they were like how are you going to set that up when it don't even have a hole in it for, to tie off your ropes or your guidelines well I'm going to show you so as you can see I'm opening it up okay I'm going to show you a couple methods actually and by a couple two is all it's really going to take unfold it and I'm going to find a corner now I can do this really anywhere but I'm going to use a corner okay this is a corner now what you can do I got a piece of rose cords here that fell off my mantelpiece and broke I knocked it over accidentally so we won't tell my wife got my tarp and I got 550 okay now keep in mind you're going to be carrying a lot more 550 than this and as you know I always you know put a knot on the end of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically make a slip knot come up do like a marlin hitch and just pull it through okay and I want the long end that's going to be tied off to a tree tie off my stake to be the one that tightens okay and the short end to be the one that loosens so what you do is you take your rock your stick put it in your cloth I'm going to just place it in there just like that twist it a couple of times put this loop over that end and pull it I have an anchor point this will be tied off to a stake, to a tree. And this is what's going to hold the cloth. Okay? And when I want to, when I'm done, I want to leave. Now, this will be a rock, a stick. Take this in, pull, and that's it. Okay? Now, I'm all, what you're going to ask, what do you do when you don't have a rock or a snazzy hippie, a hippie rock? On that case, you take it, just do an overhand knot in it like that. Take your loop. This is why I like a slip knot and not a bowling on this case. There it is. This goes to the tree, goes to your stake. And this is how I'm going to tie it up okay so and that will take a lot of pressure because this is going to tighten with the amount of pressure on this so that's what I would do and the best thing about it is I pull this this right here out make that I pull this in make that loop bigger take it off the knot take out this knot top tarts back take out the rock I take my cords on both sides, I can leave it in there, or, and then I can just start rolling up my cordage. Okay. So, again, I'm going to show you that knot, because you pretty much know the rest of it. Okay. To so do a slip knot, you put a bite in, and you take and you well, since this is going under this one, as you can see, I take it, fold up like I'm doing a marlin, um, a marlin hitch. Go up, and then just pull it through and tighten it down. And I'll show you this way. Boom. So you have the bite. As you can see, you have a bite there. Okay, take it, go up, so it looks like that, and just pull through the center piece, and so, just to make sure it's slippery, this side right here, I'm not going to do anything, this side right here is when you're going to pull to tighten it down, and when you want it non-tight, you take this, you break it. 
and then when you're done with it okay good so that's just a recap you have a tarp that doesn't have a hole in it okay I'm taking my hippie rock putting it in the tarp just like that okay twist it okay I'm just gonna set this down I'll do this again I gotta do the knot, knot again I'm doing a slippery a slip knot so I have the rock and a slip knot I put over the rock then I tighten okay now if I don't have my hippie rock and the reason I say it's hippie rock is I know it's rose quartz but hippies get about fifty dollars a piece for this thing so cost money it's hippie okay do a overhand knot Just an overhand knot. Make my loop bigger. Put it over that end. Tie down. You're golden. Okay. Break the knot. Pull out. So, I hope that answers your question. If you have any more, comment, message, get outside. Love you.